<laughs> okay. Okay, I'm ready. Hello, everybody. This is Sandra Graves, and welcome to In Vivo Live, Single Mom, that today, because you know that this channel is all about single mom, but I'm trying to turn it around a little bit instead of just focusing on, oh, single moms, oh, they're so neat. oh, the world thing, that they're so weak, and all this BS. We're not weak. I was a single mom twice, okay? So there's no weakness about us, okay? You're talking about a lot of powerful women, but not all of them are like in their right mind. Some of them are really have some issues. I know I used to be one of them, okay? Volunteer right here. So I used to be one of them, but through time I grew up and I decided what was really important for my kids. And that's the reason why I am bringing you men and women to talk about this topic to help you become a better person, a better mother, a better woman. That is what it's all about, really. And if you want to do that, then you have to have the willingness to learn from other people. Because the reality is that, I don't know if you knew, but you don't know everything. So maybe at some point you thought that you did, but let me explain that to you again. You don't know everything. And as a single mom, at times I actually thought that I knew everything. <laughs> but I learned really fast that I don't know everything. And that's the reason why today you see there's a man, a handsome black man, tall, handsome, black man. And when he opened his voice, you are going to like hear like, really nice voice too so it's going to be easy for you to listen to what he have to say okay so pay attention we are not here to destroy you we are here to encourage you and his name is junior chavez and he is from africa and he's going to tell us more. But you know what? I can actually just sit here and boast about him because I just love who he is as a person. We had a, some great conversations. I love him. And I believe you're going to fall in love with him too. And if you are single dad, stop and listen because you have something to learn too. Okay? So let me pause because you know that's really hard. So Junior, let's begin. Who is Junior? Where are you from? What's going on? And let us hear the voice. Hey, hey Sandra. Thank you so much for having me on here. It's really an honor. Um, I'm Junior. Um, I'm from Cameroon. Um, I want you to, I want, can you hear me properly? Yes, I can. I'm just telling them, listen to his voice. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> So I'm from Cameroon. I'm from Cameroon. I left Cameroon when I was four years old, and I, I lived in New York for 27 years. And uh, I came home a few years back to uh, see where I grew up, and I decided to stay. And uh, mm -hmm. I had a son here. Uh, it's beautiful here, um, and that's my life now. You know, I, I raise a, a young boy in uh, in a crazy world, but in a beautiful world at the same time. So. Um, being a single dad out here is a little different than being a single dad in the U.S. or um, mm. because we have all sorts of new challenges over here. But um, so, what's, have, just to begin there, what's what what is the difference? Like, just to give us a brief explanation between U.S. and in Africa, Cameroon. Well, it it, it different on twofold, um, mm -hmm. legally and uh, traditionally, in the sense that. Legally in Cameroon, um, the mother has the rights to the child. The mother has the rights to the child until he's seven years old, um, which is a little different abroad. Um, the reason I am a single dad is that uh, the mother of my son was not able to take care of both her daughter and my son, so I was given um, custody from her, not legally, but mm -hmm. it's an agreement between us that allows me to take care of my son. So it's, it's, it's a little different in the fact that the infrastructures are not here to, to back either party, you know? Mm -hmm. um, there's not, there's a social services office, but it's not the same um, impact as it would have abroad in the sense that 
there's there's set rules, there's set things that um that have to happen. It's an underdeveloped country, so there's a lot of things that have to grow here. So which makes it a little more challenging for us as uh, single dads because there really is no um, no one watching our backs, you know, in mm -hmm. that sense. You know, it's more about yeah. the single moms, as as they should, because um, mm -hmm. the higher percentage of 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 women take care of their kids. You know, it's it's yeah. it's more there's more single women as single mothers than single dads. So, yeah. which is kind of why we kind is of that, is that is that a fact also in your country? Because you say that the dads get the kids. Is that even if the mom have girls, the dad get the girls too? No, what I was saying is that the mom gets the kids until they're seven years old. So legally, regardless of financial situation or anything, the mothers mm -hmm. get the child in, in in our country until they're seven. And then when wow. they're seven, the dad has the right to take care. But in the event that the mother is not able to take care of the child, she can give a, a custody to the father. You know, it's something that's between me and the mother. That has nothing to do with the law. Oh, okay, so so they don't just come and take the kids away from her. That uh, when they're no, seven, and okay, no, okay. No. Actually, actually, okay. when what they do when they're seven that's when i have an opportunity to challenge for custody oh, okay got you, got you. That now the child is old enough that doesn't need um what they need from a mother you okay. know uh, that's what the law says anyway. okay But okay okay we work, we work together to to come up with an uh, arrangement that allows um him to see his mom whenever he wants and um him to stay with me Okay, so thank you for sharing that. That is something new for me. I did not know about that. And I'm sure some of you people did not know that too. But with that said, how, how, how is it? What is the experience like about being a single dad? Well, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's um, tough, but it's amazing. Uh, it changed my life. It changed my life completely. And I never saw myself as a single dad. I was always the guy who was going to get a job, get married, do all that, that process. But life doesn't always do that. But um, being a single dad permits you to rediscover yourself. It makes you have to be your best you. I call, I call being a single dad being the social media dad in the sense that social media is where a lot of people put their best foot forward. Mm -hmm. And for your child, you have to put your best foot forward. Yes. You know, otherwise, you're going to um, live a life of, of all sorts of anguish. So yeah. for me, it forced me to be that better person. Like I, mm -hmm. I, 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 want, I, I used to go out a lot. I had a, you know, I, I partied, uh, I had a great job and, you know, but this permits you to be able to put someone else number one in your life. Which oh, a lot yes. of guys don't get the opportunity to do, you know, this is yes. something that's been given that not given, but this is something that women have experienced for long periods of time. And it's such a, it's such a life changing thing. You yes. know, if, if you look at it for what it is, rather than the fact that we're having kids, it's something that makes you ha have to be better. You know, Ooh, if, yes. if, the, if the child, if the child is number one in your life, you have no choice but to get better. If that's Ooh. really the thing, you know, yes. you, you have no choice. And, 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 and I use social media, it sounds, it sounds a little thing, but everyone puts their best foot forward on social media. There's no, you don't see people putting their bad things on social media, which yes, is a shame. Yes, that's true. So use that for your kids, you know? Yes. It's like everything else matters. Nothing else matters when you put your, your foot forward, unless you're trying to please someone else in a job, or I can't think of any other thing right now, but if you're going to do something like putting your best foot forward, do it for your child. And and I think it's it's the best thing that's that that that's happened to me, and it's it's brought out so many different things that I would have never um, attempted because I wasn't trying to be my best self. I was just trying to be wow. myself. You know, I I was never someone who wanted to please others, mm -hmm. but now I want to please my kid, and yeah. I also worry about how I I look as a dad. And that's mm -hmm. never that's never never been with me. I've always been like. I don't care what you think, you're going to see who I am. And I'm still that way. But yeah. now I also worry about how what I do and say impacts my kid. You know? And, wow. and, and so it's such a different train of thought. I, I 
it's just really it's, it's a remarkable thing and i and i think it's that so exciting what, to hear it from you because i this is not a convers it's usually a conversation that i get excited about when i get talk to women but i don't get to talk to men a lot about that experience and if you do it's more on the side of well you women do this or we do this but you guys are like this but we are like that and this is not what it's all about. That's not what I wanted to be about. So just listening to you, it is so inspiring to know that because you, um, I'm not going to say you sound like a woman, but you sound caring. <laughs> you sound caring. And usually we put that on the woman's side of sure. just because you're caring. And I sure. love that I'm hearing a heart that's coming out of your mouth versus when we think of um, a man, we think of macho, tough. Macho, yeah. And what is coming out of your mouth is just protection and love and what it's supposed to be, which is just so cool. So, yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think um, as a whole, there hasn't really been much of an evolution of, of, me of men. You know, women have always had to evolve in all sorts of ways. You know, mm -hmm. they pick up the the end of um, what the man hasn't accomplished in the sense that if the man is taking care of the finances, the woman has to do every other thing around that, you know, and mm -hmm. it's always been an excuse that I pay the finances, da, 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 da. but the world's changed now. Women are making their own money. Wake mm -hmm. up, people. I mean, you're no longer big, faster, stronger. That's no longer a, a, a trait, you know, and mm -hmm. if if some people would just allow themselves to evolve into what it is now, into, into seeing what goes into changing, like changing is crazy. You know, I, I hate change. I'm not a, I'm not a person of change, you know, but once I, it, it's like change by choice is something, but change by a reality as in a child, mm -hmm. it's like, you don't get a choice in that. You, you can choose that. Okay. It's the mother's thing. And I just come and do my daddy thing when they need some strong voice in the house, you know? Yeah. Just absolute nonsense. Absolute nonsense. You, you don't realize how much you're gaining. What I gain for being with my kid every day, you don't even understand. Like, I can't even put it into words for an interview. Like, how it's changed my whole life, my whole perspective. And even to the sense that I used to really get into arguments with, my, uh, with the son of my mom. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, uh, and, and that's, and not physically, but you know, yeah, that yeah, thing, yeah. it's like, you weren't the right person for me, so I'm mad at you. And she's mad that you are not the person that I wanted to be. And, and yeah, so yeah, yeah, now that you're talking about that part, tell us more about that. Because one thing that I found in the relationship of either one, men or women, they try to judge, to raise their kids based on their experience with their with their partner, uh, tell us more about that. Yes, and, and and that's that's the that's where the growth happens. You know, you have to get to a point where you're like, okay, I'm pissed because mm -hmm. we broke up. I'm pissed that I don't have a relationship anymore. I might be even pissed that I have a kid that I might have to take care of. Mm -hmm. But do I want the best for that child? Mm -hmm. And if that answer is yes, and I'm going to say that a lot, you really have to go to yourself. What's important? Is it my feelings or is it the rest of that little dude's life or that little girl's life? Yes. And if the answer is, is them, then you got to change. And that's, that's a big decision. And yes. one, the one thing I will say is that if two parents cannot find a way to coexist in the minimal amount of time that they spend together, that child is going to have problems. It, yes. it, it doesn't matter. It's like, if you're going to say, oh, me and, the, uh, me and the husband never got along, or me and the girl, she's always in my business, da, 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 all that stuff, that's, that's, you better get rid of that quick. Because the longer you take to get rid of that baggage, the longer yes. it's going to take your kid to, 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 to get over that. And that's where addiction and abuse comes in. That's where yes. the kid, rather than coming to you, because he, he knows that, <laughs> he or she knows that you're not good with mommy or daddy on the yes. other side. So I obviously can't come to you to confide because you already don't understand my mommy. So how are you going to yeah. understand me? So they have yeah. a million. That's just one way they can look at it. They can look at it at a hundred different ways. Yeah. It's like daddy doesn't love mommy. So he must not love me. 
you know? Yeah. Maybe I get my, uh, my advice from someone else, you know, because I can't go to daddy when I have a problem with mommy and I can't go to mommy when I have a problem with daddy because they hate each other. So now I'm yeah. going to Johnny, Johnny dumbass who, <laughs> who, who smokes weed and, 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 and drinks alcohol when he's 13 <laughs> and he's going to raise me. Yes. You know what I mean? And mommy and daddy don't know Johnny, but yeah. they find out Johnny's habits all the way through teenhood, and then was, oh, I have a crazy team. No, it's yeah. just you don't know your child. You haven't given yeah. them that place for them to be able to come to you and say, "Daddy, I want to say this. Mommy, I want to say this." Might be not. Yeah. And, so, and here we're culturally different in the sense that um, parents are like the holy grail. It's like they're the boss. Yeah. It's like uh, you have to have respect to even say to your parent, "Can I talk to you about something?" You have to really like grovel. It's like um, yeah. I remember. I mean, and I felt that way with my dad, even though my parents were always, they were open door with us. But the fact that being from Africa, we have this, this thing about the respect of the parent, yeah. which is almost eclipses everything else, you know? Yeah. So it's like, uh, I don't want to speak to them in that sense. And we don't have these little conversations, you know, you might have it with your mom, maybe, uh, but you don't have it with your dad. And yeah. that was different, you know, me and my dad had an awesome relationship, you know, not to say that we had a bad one, but we couldn't have an even awesomer relationship knowing what I know now, yeah. you know, and he was in a, he was in a time, he had seven kids, I have one kid, you know, he, 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 he was in a time where, you know, his first wife passed and then he married my mother and then had other kids. So he had a different <laughs> dynamic yeah. where his, his, for his father didn't make him less of a, a great dad. It's just, he might've been a better dad and more fulfilled himself had he known certain parts of these things, which is yeah. ch changing your kid's diapers or, or, or washing your kid, just know that that's a moment where you can- That's woman something. stuff. That's a woman no. stuff. What are you yeah. talking about? <laughs> that's watched, what I, I hear from my other people. That's a woman <laughs> stuff. I go do the yard. I go dump the garbage. That's woman stuff. Well, then that's, 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 where you, that's how you're going to get treated later in life. When someone, yeah. when, when your, your little man has a problem, he's not coming to you because uh, that's women's stuff yeah. or he's going to starve and start eating bad food because he can't cook for himself. Yeah. You know, it's a woman's job. And if he's yes. not good at getting women, that means he ain't going to eat properly. He's going to go start eating <laughs> somewhere else. You know, maybe exactly. he's eating outside every day, financial, yeah. uh, uh, the Burden, you yeah. know, these types of things. So, um, dads today really, really need to take that into account that, having a son is an opportunity to change major change look at it like that not even the opportunity to have a child and grow somebody just look at it that everything that's messed up because we all have this point in our lives where we go to a mirror and we go man i messed up whatever it might be if, if i just insulted someone who i cared about damn i messed up damn i met oh no the light <laughs> we're in africa we're in yeah. africa <laughs> but the so light went gonna... out, but you still have internet. Yeah, well, I, that's why I got the mobile. Um, I oh, have okay. a mobile thing. Okay. Um, wow. I'm going yeah. to have to I find can another. Still... No, you I can, can still, still hear you good. I can still hear you good, and I see you. Yeah, it's good. Okay, let me find a corner around here somewhere. Ugh, I'm so sorry. No, so that's okay. The, that's uh, okay. I love talking to you, so it doesn't matter what happens. Is of where I live. Yeah. Can you hear me now? So can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay. you. Okay. But with that said, I have to say that when I got divorced from my ex-husband, oh my goodness, I cried so much because he tried to make my life impossible. He was trying to just like poke me, poke me poke me and everything that he knew that I didn't like, like making my daughter that is th three, two years old, the way that she would dress like a grown girl with makeup. And I was against all of those things. So everything that he knew that I was against, he would do it. And I know it was to spite me and she will come home when it was because he will get her every weekend. So she will come home and give me hell. I remember crying. I remember looking at the internet and trying to get help from somebody because I didn't have no help. And I was crying, crying, and I was like, ah, I don't know what I can do this, God. And I was like, 
And every time you come, I have to pray, God, please give me strength not to stop this man, not to hurt this man. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I'm not joking. I would really No, I hear this. you. Yeah. And I, I would, would probably stab a bullet at one point. <laughs> And I had to pray, but the worst part of it was that I had to change me was every time my daughter came, she came back with a different personality. She left home because she knew that my home was about Bible. My home was about discipline. My home was, I was dressing properly. And every time she left, she, she left nice with a good attitude. She come back with a bad attitude fighting me when my daddy come and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, you can't talk to me like that, right? You can't mm -hmm. talk to me like that. That doesn't go. I'm a Latina. I'm black. I'm all of that. I will slap you up real fast if I have to, okay? So that you. was really, really hard. It took a lot of prayer. And I, will, I, I was just like, you know what? I have to try to figure out how I can be friends with this guy. Because it just not only hurting me emotionally, but it's hurting her permanently. And yeah. that is where, so, so, so been that I'm saying that, what is your experience in that part? Absolutely. Um, like I said, I, I was probably stabbable about two years ago. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it becomes that I was, I'm not, a, I'm not a physically, I don't put hands on women. That's yeah. for me, it's, it's, that's just weak. You know, I, I have, plus I, I'm, I'm the last of eight sisters, uh, seven sisters. So mm -hmm. I, I got my ass beat by girls when I was a kid. <laughs> well, when I was a young kid, I have no problem saying it. Yeah. It's probably uh, one of the better things that happened to me. And it was one of the best childhoods I had having seven older sisters. It was wow. awesome. It was awesome. Wow. But having said that, you get to a point where when you're a young man from, uh, let's say from 16 to maybe 25, where you have to start dealing with your emotions and yeah. um that comes with self-mastery you know uh, uh, understanding yourself and who you are as a person and already that i knew that I, i'm not a physical guy my my lash out was more mental it was like what your husband was doing it's like i know how to mess with her mentally you know and it was that but then it it started to hurt me when i did it you know yeah. I'm a I'm a guy who's like, if I yell at you right now, I'll go walk away. And I'm my first biggest critic. Like, what was that about? Yeah. Were you right? Were you wrong? Did you need to do that? And I'm my I'm big on that, you know? Yeah. So I asked myself, is this what you want to have mm -hmm. as a relationship for the next five, five years, uh, seven years of your son's life? And it just was not that. So I had to start working in another sense and um, trying to get trying to get on a on a plane where we agreed yes. and it started to work you know you have to go one thing that you agree upon at a time one thing where you're like okay we agree that the sky is blue are we okay you know you literally <laughs> have to go step by step by step and yes. i never thought i'd get here i would not like uh, people who know me when they see me with my child's mom they're like are you two together <laughs> No, it's just no. It's just we're so chummy. We we were actually really good friends. Yeah. Before this happened, you know, I was I was kind of a, a a little bit of a mentor to her in the sense that I was helping her out, and um, things got a little more complicated than 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 uh, I imagined them to be. But now, building backwards on the relation, once you've understood that me and you are no longer, yes, then you can start to move forward. Once you've yeah. gotten out that, oh, I hate you because you did this. Oh, you let, once you, you really have to get that out. You can't, you yes. can't do it without it, you know? And, and, yeah. and I'd like to tell people that, yeah, get over that stuff. It's really hard. Like really, yes. like you sit there. When I do my mirror thing and I'm like, yeah, does she deserve this? And I'm like, I know she doesn't deserve this, but I don't care. You know, yes. I have those Your conversations. Kid deserve it. Yeah. You, you know, so my kid deserves it. And that's what it comes yeah. back to. And once you say my kid deserves it, long enough yes as many times as you say that my kid deserves that you will mm -hmm. see what happens man. I, yes. I have now i now have a system where my my uh baby's mother cooks for him once a week 
which which gives us an opportunity to have to be in the same space together. Yeah. And now we have to talk, you know. Wow. And now, because kids, you you can have the good cop guy, the the good parents, uh, uh, individually, but when they come together, is where the kid sees the the, the truth. Yeah. And if he comes and he sees two of you not where you're you're saying that you're going to be, that's the trouble. It's like, oh yeah, mommy's great, daddy's great, but when they're together, it's fire. That has an impact too. So I didn't want to go backwards. So I did a lot to go forward. And wow. I pushed a lot of boundaries, you know, she pushed back on certain things. Yeah. And eventually we're in a place now. I think I think more it was more for her thinking that I was trying to take away her child. Yes. And it was that, more for me. That's always the fear. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And 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 I understand that. And I understood that because I wanted to understand that. We all understand mm -hmm. it. We all understand that that's their biggest fear. Uh, yeah. That's the opposite parent's biggest fear, yes. uh, particularly mothers, because it's usually the mother who who nurtures yeah. the child, uh, yeah. as opposed to to nowadays where there's there's more guys like me coming up who are yeah. like, yeah, let me take half of that job so yeah. my significant other can actually fly. For me, this yeah. is works greatest so she can find herself and take care of her daughter, which and the fact that we have an open um, open relationship in the sense that. I'm open to her seeing her son anytime she wants to. Oh, thank you for explaining that. Because I thought you were saying like open like freaky freaky. No, 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 you can't confuse that relationship and start sleeping together, which breeds another type of problem. Yes, you know, if yes, you really, yes, yes, yes. Tell really us. Don't, I have never, I, I don't, I don't. Since the yes. day we had our issues, mm -hmm. I've made it, it's really psychologically, it's like having an ex-girlfriend and saying that we're not together, but you're sleeping with her while yeah. you're going to do other things. And yeah. then you get mad when she reacts like, Oh, how are we not together? You slept with me yesterday, da, 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 all that stuff. And you're like, yeah. she's drama. No, you're the drama. Yes. You know? yes. Don't give into that. It's not just men. It's women yes. also. The women like, do it too. Give, yeah. Don't yeah. give it up if you yeah. know that it's not going anywhere. If you yeah. love this person, it's really about the love. You know? And, and yeah. um, for me, I don't do it personally because I think maybe if there's a chance at a relationship later on, which is the ideal for my son, I don't want to mess it up with this trivial back right. and forth. Right. It's like, oh yeah, um, I haven't gotten laid this, in a year. It's called toxic. Toxic. Yeah, it, because that's what it would be. Like when I when I had just divorced my ex-husband, um, you know, he was reminiscing on me and all that kind of stuff. And don't get me wrong, don't don't mean, don't mean that I was not thinking about him too. But I'm like, it's already over. Like let me tell you, man, once a woman really moved on, she moved on. I'm not saying that she's like around lingering. She didn't move on yet. OK, yeah. but once I actually moved on, I moved on and it was good for me. You know, I reminisce and all that. But it was that part of he will come around and he will be jealous if I'm talking to somebody, he will mm -hmm. slam the door when he come and pick up my daughter. I just slam the door really hard because I was moving on and all that. But I wanted to keep that, you know, um, open relationship, like you said. But, <laughs> but the the good one, the good one, the open relationship. The good one, the good one. <laughs> <laughs> the communicating for the kids. The communicating one. <laughs> I wanted to keep that one. Um, and it was very hard because he will be like, you know, how come you didn't do this with me when I was with you? And I'm like, well, that's what I'm doing it now because I'm learning what I did wrong. And he will get so mad, but I wasn't trying to take him off. It's just that I did learn. He, don't get me wrong. He was an amazing guy. Okay. He was really good, especially when we were married. He was a real good dad, all that kind of stuff. But things happen and it did not work out for us. But man, I have to tell you, when it doesn't work out for you and the woman, it doesn't mean you got to forget your child. And that's the reason why I love 
talking to Junior right now because a lot of you guys, I need to take out the belt. I'll whip your ass. <laughs> <laughs> because the reality is that yeah. just because the woman don't want to be with you, you don't have to forget the kids. That was your child. That is your yeah. baby. You know, yeah. like and I see that happen a lot. And that speaks to um that speaks to that emotional maturity, you know. When I say that you really have to look up what that means. Like emo yes. emotional maturity is not something that I was born with. It's yeah. like understanding that your emotional uh, ups and downs affect your life more than anything in the whole world. So if if you're gonna base the rest of your child's life on the fact that your 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 baby's mother or or, or 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 father said a certain thing that's that's emotional instability so that means you can screw up your life one day and and and, and the next you know it's, it's it makes it un, unpredictable yes. so once you get that emotional st stability and maturity you start to understand just defining it makes you understand it you know and, yeah. and, and emotional uh, um, stability and uh, emotional maturity is something everyone wants to be good at the thing yeah. about it is that when you hear about it, if you're, if, you, if most people, it's like, okay, I want to be that. We, there's a lot of things that you see in your life that you're like, I want to be that. You don't say it out loud. It's like, I want to be that. And that's one of those things. Uh, but the thing is, it takes hard work. It's easier yes. to say than done. It takes yes. hard work. And yes. you really have to soul search. You really have to go to yourself is, do yeah. I want a relationship with the mother of my child or the father of my child? What is the, in what capacity do I want such a relationship? Am I ready for that relationship? Mm -hmm. You know, and if it's if it's non-sexual, uh, you, you're you're a step ahead of the game. But if it is sexual, then the, you know uh, we we all know that you I might hate you, but what we did together in the sack was great. You know <laughs> that that that's the excuse. <laughs> I hear that so much. It's like oh, I she annoys me. Oh, he's so bad. But when we get together, it's yes. magic. Get over that. It's, obviously, yes. that's, that's a it's small just part sex. Of that's it. Yeah. That's it. it. That's, that's it. it. That's a small it. part of the thing. And you're not going to let your child suffer because of that. Yeah. You know? yeah. So get emotionally uh, stable. Get get, yeah. get get mentally prepared because this is big. It's, it's big, yeah. big things. It's not, it's not like it, it's, it's, it's bigger than getting your next job. This yeah. is you, you're influencing someone who potentially has to take care of your ass uh, further down the line. Yes. And who whose emotional stability you're responsible for until they're able to do it for themselves. Yeah. And if you're not stable yourself, how the hell can you do that? So That's for right. me, talking it out actually makes you qualifies yourself. So if I'm yeah. sitting here saying like I just said it to yourself, I myself know whether I'm ready for that or not. I'm myself yeah. while I'm saying it, it's like, oh my God, can I really do that? And am I really the person that's able to do that? Now I can say, yeah, with comfort, yeah. I can say that. You yeah. know, but the the like we said, the the open relationship, the bad open relationship, <laughs> is something that has to be taken care of. It has to be taken care of earlier yeah. than anything. Earlier than anything. It's been two years since yeah. uh, I, I've been with my baby's mother, and I am very strict on that. I am yeah. very very strict on that. Yeah, and especially when she makes advances. <laughs> Let me tell you one thing, but she's, she's not that because yes, yeah, that does happen. <laughs> the problem is, it's not that uh, I'm a good-looking guy or not. She's um she's someone who can only be with someone she cares about, and right. which is the case with a lot of our people. A lot of people yes. who are in this situation. Yes, I, I'm not it a does. I'm not a yes. I'm, I'm not a sleeper around her. Yeah, I'm, I'm very I'm I'm like that. I'm like yes, I want yeah. this for this for this. Yeah, I haven't dated one person since I've had my son. And yeah. it's not that I'm missing dating or anything. Yeah. I know what the priority is. The priority right. is that guy. I'm lucky yeah. enough to have someone who looks up to me. Yeah. And who who does who would do what I tell them. So that's very. That's yes. very, what's that thing? Spider Man says it's um with all great power comes great responsibility. You yes. have the life of someone in your hand. Mm -hmm. Don't mess around with it. Going yes. to the club, doing this, this. I mean, you can go to the club, but make sure that this person is your priority. Is your priority. You have a yeah. small window from zero to seven years old. Yes. Zero to seven to be able to form this child. That's where all the cognitive, it's actually zero to like three, you know, yeah. how your child feels about you, how they feel 
that this is my protector or not. And if you don't get that done in that time, that's when Johnny, Johnny dumbass becomes his best friend. And then yeah. now you have a whole life of problems, alcoholism, drug use, all that stuff because yeah, of the times that you did not choose your child over yourself. I agree. And you yeah, have I agree. to do that. Dad, mom, yeah. everybody has to do that. Yes. And yeah. if you have a single moms with no single dad, that child's going to be a problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He can be raised properly and he could be lucky and get out of it if he has a, a strong parent. And I, I think that can happen too. Yeah. There's someone who is with them all the way through and yeah. never bashes the dad or, yeah. or bashes the other parent. And that. let your yes be yes and your no be no. That's what I learned raising a boy. And I have I have an amazing son, but it had to be. I remember one time my son, um, I used to tell him, you know, we it, it, it you know, we call him gonna whip your butt. If you Americans, you don't say that stuff that mm -hmm. we do. It's like picking out that belt and punishing them and doing all kind of stuff, whipping their butt. Yes, that's what we call it. So however, <laughs> when I'm my I'm on a, and we are in a Christmas party one time. And everybody's telling stories. And my son said, <laughs> everybody's telling stories from their past. He's like seven years old. And he's like, <laughs> with everybody. And he says, <laughs> my mom always says, I'm going to whip your butt. And she never does. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's ah. laughing and listening. And he's like, <laughs> And people telling story, yeah, when my parent did this, because they want to hear him talk more. And he was like, yes, I did this and this. And my mom said, I'm going to do this and this, but she never does what she says. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last time that happened. Well, I imagine. That was the I last mean. time that happened. I was cut. I was like, did I really do that? I was thinking because, yes, I'm like, I'm going to do this to you. I'm going to do this to you. That was at the <laughs> beginning. After that, I let my yes be yes and my no be no. And sometimes when you say no, it hurts. Get in your closet, get in your bathroom, go take a walk, but stand on your no when you're raising kids, right? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No, yeah, I learned that early. That's, that's <laughs> early. I learned that when he was two. You know, yes, <laughs> that's yes, yes. No. Yeah, it's it's really that. And, and yeah. um, the single parent, Another thing for single parents is you have to understand that that kid knows that you're a single parent and which is why that yes is be yes and no be no is very important. He knows you're a single parent. He knows that you're vulnerable in that sense. Yes. And you don't want to give him any reason to start using that against you yeah. because they will. Yeah, you, know? they do. you don't want to give him that reason. You don't want to yeah. be yelling on the phone. I don't yell on the phone. I don't do any of that because I don't want to turn around one day and be like, talking to him and then he yells at me like yeah like you were yelling at mom and oh, he would uh, be right he would yeah. be correct yes you know you'd have every right to do that to me and, and you brought it up though. good the the yelling part because i am going to talk for from from my points um men or dogs really you are raising a boy and you have girls around and you're telling her that one day they're going to get married and you are saying that their daddy that. is the dog and men are dog. And like, what do you expect them to have if you, because let me tell you, I was guilty of that. That was with a lot of friends of mine when I was a single mom and they was like, men are dog, but then they're getting pretty in the makeup, going to the club to find a dog. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you're going after a dog right? now. So I had to change my way of thinking of talking, not thinking first, but talking because I'm raising this amazing boy and my conversation around my friend is that men are dogs. What is that telling my son? What is that telling my daughter that she's going to date? And the men, when I hear them, nobody can call me a B-I-B-C-H, I will stab you fast. Mm -hmm. I, you do not talk to me like that, right? Yeah. I know a lot of you ladies like that conversation, but especially if you're a single mom, that is not acceptable. So- Not at but, all. For a man to call you that and for you to call your baby's mom that, what do you expect, right? Especially in front of your child. Especially exactly. in front of your child. Yeah. Now the rain has started coming, so I'm going to have to move back <laughs> to another side. This is just one That's of those okay. days. But... We get into see everything about what's happening in Africa in one day. In, um, yeah. in Cameroon. 
in camera. We we have this bad Can habit I put of my saying. Headphones on so it doesn't mess up your sound. You your sound is still good. I don't hear. Oh, the it way. sounds fine. Yeah, okay. you have an amazing phone. It's really okay, good. Okay. No, I'm yeah. just making sure that you can hear yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't hear. I don't hear any. Your voice is strong enough. It covers everything. <laughs> <laughs> I thank my dad for that one. Hopefully, uh, yeah. <laughs> your dad too. have your voice too. Oh my God, my dad! Really? My dad was um, he was a public speaker, so he oh he was a, he was, a, he, was an, he was a lawyer, and then he was a, okay. a jurist. So he oh, used to kind of whoa, 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 man. oh my goodness, <laughs> opening wow. statement. You know, so we all we all speak well in our family in the sense That's that good. we have no problem That's getting awesome. up in front of people. That's which I think awesome. is very important. Teach your kids that. Yep. Teach them to stand up in front of people. Yep. It'll My kids do. They know way. how to stand up in front of people. Yeah. 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 Especially if you are living in country like ours. That's the reality. It is in Cameroon. I come from Panama and over there. Yep. Like, you got to listen to the grown-ups and grown-ups are always right. No, they're not always right. No, they're not. That is the reality. They are not always right. You respect them. But you got to teach your kids to be able to stand up. And that's one thing that I did when I was, uh, because my mom was a single mom, because my mom was a single mom too. And just growing up, everything that everybody says or whatever, um, you know, especially if my dad ever was around, you know, he liked this woman. And this woman came and said that I cursed her out. And he came and whipped my butt without oh, asking me which he's never around, but then he came and whipped my butt because he wanted to sleep with a woman, all right? With a woman. So, yeah. yeah. And then he came and he says, he came to my house, I haven't seen him. And then I was sleeping. So he woke me up, just down on the door, woke me up and she's like, yeah, your daughter was rude to me and whatever, whatever. And he says, get inside, I'm gonna whip your butt, whatever, like this. And I'm thinking, what did I do? What did I do? What yeah, did I do? And I'm thinking, exactly. but then I saw him outside flirting with the woman and all that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I will never raise my kids like this. Mm -hmm. And I still remember that. And I make sure that anytime somebody came and complained about my kids, I put them face to face with my kids. And grownups hate that when you do that. They but a do. lot of times, a lot of times they lie on your kids because yeah. their egos or they, they see such a problem with, you are disrespecting me, my authority. Hey, I'm telling you, mm -hmm. you stand mm -hmm. for your kids. If But when your kids are wrong, they're wrong. And they're you wrong. make sure that they're they wrong. know. Yeah. Yes. So but you also I just have to, have to put kids. that one there. That was, yeah, that you, was it. You know your kids too. Mm -hmm. And being around your kids, you'll be able to decipher less and more when these adults are lying. Because they lie yes. all the time. They yes. want to make themselves feel bad. And make them the, make themselves feel better. Yes. And like you said, it's all about their ego, you know. Yes. And, and yes. My my so. son will be raised to be able to question everything. We we question everything. That's why we were. So he's a we genius. Were, That's what I call a genius. I said yeah. genius is not what these books describe. A genius is one who understands that they don't know everything, but they question anyone everything. and everything. If you guys go look at my, my presentation that I did for my son's wedding on my Instagram, you're going to see what I the talk about a genius at the wedding. The oh, you heard it? You, you saw I it? I loved it. I loved it. I loved <laughs> my, my best part is the mic drop started at the beginning when you went like this and you dropped like <laughs> The, the five, nice sense five, being five minutes. The, oh my god, the five minutes and then the roll thing dropped out. I was like, here we go. It was perfect. It was perfect. He's yes. so he's so lucky for that. He's so yeah. lucky to have that 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 uh piece of yeah. the I, I I enjoyed it. I mean, I didn't expect the cry. I was like, you know, I'm a tough mom, you know. <laughs> well, you I'm a quiet, good, you until know. The end got you. You got caught at the end. You, you were doing, you were pushing through, and then all of a sudden. Stop it, but I'm like, I didn't say white woman. I said wise woman. Wise. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, too. That was very good. That was very good. It was, oh, it was one of those, uh, I will keep that speech for a long time. That, that's, that's classic. That's classic. I just, everybody, but I wrote it. I mean, like, that is exactly who I was feeling when I was, was writing it. My son is like, you can you speak for five minutes, right? I mean, like, you guys listen to me? Can I ever can I speak, speak for five, five minutes? minutes? 
<laughs> what? That's like asking me for a miracle, and this is my son's wedding. Why would I want to speak for five minutes? Five you gotta minutes. put up with me, okay? You have to put up with me. So I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna torment him when I am at the wedding. I so I it. made this scroll, and I'm like, yeah, five minutes. Those people freak out. Perfect. It was like a mic drop to start. It was a mic drop to start the speech. You know? Yeah. But I, the reason why we are both enjoying the, the conversation about me and my son is because I raised him as a single mom and he respect me. I'm his hero. He is my hero. And that only come with whatever it is that you believe about yourself as well. Because if yeah. you believe that you are trash and you are nobody, why would you be raise somebody that is amazing so you have to be working on yourself i have to work on me i have to work on my insecurities i have to work on my mental problem i have to work on so many stuff coming from a single mom thinking that you know um you know i don't need a man in my life and the reality yeah. is is that we do especially yeah. if you're going to have a boy we do you know we don't i i like to tell people it's not about the need, but we want to, if we want to have our kids to have a better life, we want to have that man in their life. Even if they're my, like my son's dad, he was not around, but he always used to tell everybody, she's such a great mom. Uh, she don't need me around. I always used to hear people telling me the story like that. But I can tell you that even though he's not perfect, I didn't tell my son bad stuff about him. And when I thought about bad stuff about him, I would look at my son and I would be like, you have a nice butt like your dad. <laughs> 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 because he's growing up and his body was like, I'm like, you, no, your body is like your dad. Your, your body is like your dad's body. You, you run fast like your dad. You find positive things, positive things that you uh, find from the other parent. If you think crap about them, you don't share that with your kids because they become crap. You're comparing them with that person, right? Exactly. And you're talking about the, the, the first or second person they love the most in the world. You're talking to them like that. Yes. You know? And then now you're teaching them to say that when I love somebody, that's how I talk about them. Yes. And that's not love. And you're teaching yeah. them all sorts of wrong things, you know? Yes. And, 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 and back to my social media example, best behavior always, you know, yes. fake it till you make This is a place where you're going to have to fake it because yes. you have to fake the good stuff. Yes. Just for your that's job. Yes. One moment where you want to say, that guy has the biggest head. I want to kick him in the nuts. You got to say, oh my God, he's so handsome. I can't believe he's not here to spend time with us right now. Like you said. Yeah, you know, but you have to remember what was it, what, what was what crazy was good about, about him. him at the beginning. There Absolutely. was something that got you hooked at that person, you know, and I, and I did. He was very smart. He had all that very handsome and all that. So all those things that I tried to hold on to and try to share that with my son, you know? And that's mm -hmm. the reason why he, he doesn't hate his daddy. He doesn't have any animosity, you know, anything like that. Um, people are always like, you know, um, you know, how come you don't talk bad about your dad or what? Why should I? My mom didn't. Yeah. Why would you? Why would you? You, you know, know it was, it was you not learn. like that. And actually, that's 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 going to be the answer to my 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 uh my question because my mom didn't absolutely mm -hmm. you know and, yeah. and and I had parents that were on opposite sides of the world sometimes. But yeah. The one thing they always had was that friendship. They always told me about that. It's like, um, uh, my dad was in government. My mom was in government also, and she was a, high, a woman who was high in government. So when my dad got affected to the United States, she had to give up all her years of work and to go with her husband, but she chose family. And which was a lesson she gave us all the time. She's like, I could have stayed director of labor, the first woman director of labor of Cameroon ever. There's never been a female director of labor. And since um, she gave that up to go with her family. That's, it's so strong, so yeah. strong, especially when she gave up. And, and when we look back at it now, Say, damn, you give up all that for us? Damn. Yes. You know, and, and, and it's not something that she said to us. It's just 
when you realize you saw it, it, yeah, you're, when you you're like, oh my god, you're like, wow, wow, yeah. how many people would have given that up, you yeah. know, to go and go to America and start babysitting, you know, yeah. it's because it, my mom's not a, a government got person's wife, she doesn't do yeah. that, she's not a dinner party person, she's yeah. educated and she has her own thing, you know, but yeah. she she was prepared to babysit, not to sit at home, yeah. you know, not to sit not to sit and be the wife and do the tea parties and all that nonsense, you know? Yeah. So she went out and did that. And we saw that, you know, she went to the director, the, the head of the general assembly and said, I will babysit your kids. So I don't have to do any of that. And that's when he found out, found her a job, something to do. And then she moved back up as, as she did. And, and that was the opportunity. So that's, that's very, cool. that's very important. I, so I know the moment where my mom chose <coughs> me over her life. You know, yeah. she's done it a million times for a million different things. But I, yeah. I can pinpoint that moment where I'm like, yes, she chose that for me. And 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 that's that's awesome. You know, that's yeah. something else. That's something yeah. else that you hold in you. And that what makes me a better dad. Because I think I'm not putting my life on hold for my kid um, as my mom did. I am now creating my life with my having kid. my kid around. Like, yeah. People, it's like I, I I stopped working where I was working to create work and businesses that allow me yeah. to be a full time dad. Yes, I love being a full time dad. Yeah, you know, I, I I started a farm business, so I figured that I could teach my son so many things on a farm, and be around him all the time because that's the that's yeah. the key. Yeah. I have to be around him all the time, regardless of what it is, how it yes. is, when he play, as long as he can turn around and see me there. I don't yes. even got to talk to him. Just yes. knowing that he's there is just so big. And yeah. I remember, I, uh, not to get too long on it, I was, a, I was a sports athlete in school, which is why I never, I was never home a lot. Of all yeah. the kids, I was always away at sports camp. Um, even when, when we came back to visit Cameroon, I was away at sports camp. And I had no problem with it. Like, I was never, oh, I miss my parents type of yeah. kid. But Most back on it, don't. looking back on it now, <laughs> looking back on it now, if my dad was there for one or two more football games or one or more two of my recitals or one or more or two things, I might have been different. I don't know in what way, but it might have been, you know, I, I don't I don't blame my dad for anything. For me, my dad was saving yeah. the world. Yeah, yeah. I, I was always like, yeah, that is out saving the world. That was my thing yeah. in my brain that my dad was doing better for Africa outside. Yeah. Yeah. So I never had that thing, but there's some of my brothers and sisters who do have that blame. Yeah, that like that mine too. Around. Yeah, yeah. Like that like that mine too, but around. it's all about perspective. That's what mm -hmm. makes me different because I appreciate some of the things that my mom, in particular, did. But I'm like some of those things that I want. You got to top it. You know, you got to yeah. analyze what they did and what you think you can do better for your kids based what on your view, because everybody's gonna raise their kids. Um, differently, you know. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And raising, you can all, we are going to raise them differently, but with the same thing in mind. The child is first. Is first. Yeah. That's it. Perspective. Yeah. Everything changes, but regardless of what you do, child is first, and, yeah. and that's so important. That's so important. Yeah. And for yeah. the and for the young ladies who 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 um, who feel like grass is green, it's like, oh, maybe uh, if I had a guy like Junior, my life would be much better. Hey, listen. I was never like this. I was never, ever, ever, ever like this. It takes work to be like that. And it takes yes. work from you too. It took yes. work for me, for me to go up to my, to, to my son's mother and just be next to her. It was just the whole thing, you know, yes. because she took me to child services. So I was yeah. so, I was so wounded by that, you know, that yeah. she took me to child services and yeah. I had to figure out, you know, I had her at my, they lived with me together but then when things weren't working out she had to get a place of her own so it was, it was like child services make him pay for a new place for me da, 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 da. so that's where we were and from where we were there he had to turn around for her to accept for the kid to come to me and all that she had to grow yeah, as that's well. hard yeah you know for, for for her to bring it she had to grow you know and yeah. she had to i had to be someone that i wasn't I mean, in yeah. order for a mom to accept for her son to go somewhere you know, yeah. Regardless of how bad the situation is, if she don't believe in that man, she ain't sending her kid over there. Doesn't yeah. she, she? She just would not. You know. Yeah. So, being that change also helps her to change. It's like if this yeah. dude who was who was psychologically messing with my head 
every five minutes can come around to this, wow, how about me? And that's the thing, you know, and, and I wasn't waiting for her change. Her change just inspires my change, you know? Yeah. I have my change on my own. But then when yeah. I start to see that her change, my change affects her <laughs> change, and then her change starts to re-affect my change. It's yeah. like, oh my God, she can, Noelle can do that? She's able to, what? Man, then it becomes a change contest all of a sudden. Yeah. And who wins in the change contest? The, the kid. kid wins. Yeah, that's right. When he comes over and he's like, he comes over uh, the other night. It was fun. It was, it was a, I'll tell you a funny story. His mom took a, a shower over here for the first time in, in a while. You know, we, we try to be really on rules, try to build the relationship first before we, we step over the, the, the boundaries. But she took a shower here. He runs you, you with wasn't, him. You wasn't struggling? No, I, I was in the room. <laughs> My son <laughs> runs out of the room. He runs out of the room. He's like, Daddy, Daddy, look, Mommy's taking a shower. He opens the door. He's like, look, Mommy's taking a shower. And it was such a moment. We laughed for about 45 minutes. She, she got out of the shower in her towel, and we sat on the floor, and we laughed. And we were laughing even more that we could never, two years ago, we could never have this moment. We could have wow. never laughed like this and felt like someone else is winning. Like, it's always like I was winning or she was winning. Yes. You know? we, we, it's just a moment where we both lost and we both laughed. That's you know, cool. and it was, it, it, it's that really, it's really making that effort to get to that. And, and there's no one who's, who, who, uh, if you had a child with someone, uh, barring alcoholism and, 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 and physical battery, we have a lot of, you know, which, 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 which is the case for a lot of, of, of single moms, um, but not all of them. We can build off of that, you know, single, single parent. I, I like to call them solo parents, but single parents is not a, it's not a, a death sentence. It's like I said, it's, it's the it's opportunity. A blessing. For me, it was the best thing that happened to me because before I had my son, I was useless. I had just came out of do like modeling and all the kind of stuff. And my life didn't have, have purpose. And when I had my son, there was more meaning, there was more purpose, there was more structure, there was more drive. I wanted to achieve the world. I wanted to be successful. I moved my kids into the best neighborhoods, even though I was struggling because I wanted mm -hmm. to make sure that I didn't have to worry about no gunshots. I wanted to make sure that I, I, I moved into a great neighborhood that sometimes they shut off my light and my water in America, <laughs> in America. Just in because America. I wanted them to have the same opportunities of the other kids that they were, their parents was lawyers and doctors and all of this stuff. While I was going to school as a single mom and working, because why would you be able to tell your kids, you can do this and this when you are not even doing it yourself. You're preaching something that you are not even acting out on. So I said, I have to do stuff for me to be able to stand firm and say, I did it, you can do better. Absolutely. That's how we do it, right? Absolutely. So, I mean, I, when I remember it was just it's like it's this same house and, and people were shocked, like a single mom, especially a black single mom, let's be realistic about this, okay? Mm -hmm. And this is mostly a white neighborhood. Let's be realistic about this. Let's not just sugarcoat things here. I'm not a sugarcoater. And I move in here, people was totally freak out. Like, they could not believe, like, um, the, the mailman was, here? like, checking it out. Like, do you live here? <laughs> I'm like, yes. He said, you know, there's having been Black people around here, especially. He says, do you have a husband? I'm like, like, I'm trying to wonder why he asked me so many questions. He said, and I say, no. Just my kid, you are a single mom? And in this neighborhood, he was totally freaked out. <laughs> and you know, and he's a black yeah. mailman. So Man. he knows what he knows, okay? Yeah, he knows what so he knows. It was, it, he was wow. very friendly and, and everybody wanted to know my business. Did I work hard to keep this house? Yes, did I work hard? Sometimes it was very difficult, but for my kids, because they deserve to have a better life than I did. It Absolutely. was for my kid. It wasn't to impress anybody, no, anything like that. And Junior, definitely, we will have to continue this conversation because another part, you, you mentioned part of that, 
But another part is that I didn't bring no man into my house. Yeah, that's ladies, the other one. Ladies, that. I did not. And they always thought I was cheating on them, but I'm like, you are not worthy of looking at my kids. So my you kids, can't. No, if no. you're like about to marry me, that we already dated and people know you, my friends know you and all that, then I might introduce you to my kids. So my kids actually got to know um, my ex-husband, my husband now, and one more person that I almost married. That's it. I dated people for a long time. Never came yeah. to my house. And nope. people thought, she thinks she saw that. Yes, I am on a bag of chip too. Yeah, I, I am <laughs> because that's who I treated my kids. Yeah, I don't. I don't joke with that. I don't yes. play around with that. I don't. Yes. I don't. I don't put myself in a position where. Yes. Um. And 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 the um, the the ladies who approach me, um, I I have an easy answer for them. It's like, listen, you'll never be priority number one in my life, that you deserve. You'll mm -hmm. you'll never be it, at least for the next fifteen years. Are you yes. ready for that type of relationship? And they're like, yeah. If, if they say, yeah, I'm no. like, well, I will never, I, and th th I have more of those. I will never just, I will never call you regularly. I will never come meet your mom. I will never invite you to my house. I will, you know, these type of things. <laughs> and if that's it, if that, by yes. then they're like, they get it. They're like, yeah. we know you love your son, you know? And that's, that's my red yeah. badge of courage. It's like, when yeah. I see someone, what do they want to say about, about Junior? Say anything you want. He loves his kids. Yeah. He's loved yeah. his son. That's it. Yeah. That's my that's my accomplishment in my whole life. You know, yeah. I've accomplished yeah. a lot of things. Yes. But my one thing, if I if I had to write my obituary today, that's what I want on. Oh, he loved wow. his children. Whatever, nice. if, if it's just Biko by the time I go, it's that. But if it's more, it's like he loved his children. That's my yeah. that's my thing, you know. Yes. And which is why I stopped uh, my social media page that i just started yeah share share with us about you know, uh, what how the people can follow you at bleaks and me b-l-i-x and me um it was so social media for me was a selling is that instagram facebook people. which one is that that's instagram i'm just on instagram i'm just okay. on instagram okay um because that's the time i can give to it now okay. and as i meet more dads online and uh, more people come to me as a Facebook group that I'd like to begin, but but not for the moment. You know, I don't right. want to get to. Yeah. I want to get what I'm doing correctly. Yeah. But I want to be able to inspire someone who watches how I am with my son to be better with theirs. I got like I said, I'm, I'm not selling yeah. nothing. I got nothing to. It's just yeah. we need more of that in our lives. Yeah, I'm not in, selling anything either. Exactly. In, in in Cameroon, we um we have a, a soccer player who's called Samuel Eto, and he's the only person that has a straight path, which means that you can see where he started and where he finished. And a lot of people become soccer players because they watch that clear path, you know? Wow. And that's kind of what I want to do in this sense. You know, it's like, it's not that I have the clearest path. It's yeah. just, I'm doing it. And yes. I'm doing it in a, in a, in a different way. Yeah. And hopefully from one of those moments, you know, I'm, I'm a, I, I, my, my kid, I can't get enough of him. When he's around me, you see me in my videos. I'm always like, I have him here, you know? Yeah. And a lot of, a lot of black fathers don't have that. And I've, I mm -hmm. post that a lot just to show them that a man's man, I'm an athlete. I'm a D, division one athlete uh, in, in two sports. A man's man can hug his son in front of other men, and in front him. of other women. Mm -hmm. And I, Jesus, I kiss my son all the time. Yes, I kiss my son all the time, yes. you know, and that's a that's something. My, my my dad, my dad used to hug me all the time. He hugged me when he was around. But I am I'm, I'm a little extra with my son because I want him to yeah. know that that dude right over there, he's got my back regardless of yes. what. Yes. You know, that's my guy. You know, yes. I pick him up every day at school. I take him. I wash him every day. I do his thing every day. He has to know that that guy is in love with me. Yes. And that will change his life. Once they have that back, because a lot of these kids, they don't have a dad that it's like, mom, mom yeah, is guys, there. Please but, go to his Instagram. I love watching when he posts the story. I love it. It's, he wrote some, some stuff on the wall, on the floor, like a city. And then his son was driving around uh, the city. <laughs> and you know what? 
In America, you people think that everything is about spending money, spending money. It's about spending time. 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 And he just took his time to be able to draw an entire city Something yeah. that you cannot have with monopoly. Okay, <laughs> you he created an entire monopoly city, and keep son is driving, and I see him jumping in the bank and jumping <laughs> in this part. That was genius. I love that it was, because that's yeah. what he's going to remember. We don't know yeah. tomorrow is not promised. God exactly. forbid. May God protect you, but we don't know that Junior is no going, not going to disappear, but his son is always going to remember everything that is happening now. What exactly. will your kid remember about you? Your exactly. screaming, your cursing, mm -hmm. your money. What will mm -hmm. they remember about you? I know mm -hmm. that my kids are going to remember my strong personality and that their mom remember every time that says, I love you. And this mom is willing to fight anybody for them. Yes. I will hurt anybody for my kids, anybody. Yeah. And that's yeah. one thing that my kids know about it. Absolutely. So, and, and, and what you just said, as in telling your kids you love them, Black fathers, please, please, that is the key to your kids. Tell them you love them. How many Black sons do I talk to that have never heard that from their father? They've heard, um, I love my kids. I love my family. They've never heard the... Hey you, Johnny. Son. I love you, and I do. I I I don't stop that. I don't yes. stop that. I find I, I look for the opportunities to tell my kid that I love him yeah. all the time. Like yeah. you have to do that because it's another level of it's another level of intimacy. You know, it's it's yes. you don't want your kid looking at you as okay. Um, on general commander, yes, yes. I'm the lieutenant in your army, and that's how we usually sure. are. Like African. Mm -hmm. Af African kids, or even Black American kids, uh, Black yeah. African American kids. Yeah. You know, it's 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 that type of dad is boss. Bring dad his slippers. Bring dad his things. Uh, dad just came back from work. I'm so tired. You know, it's like the first thing I see in my kid when he gets out of school is like I tell him I missed him. I tell him that yes. where have you been? I missed you. Yeah. How was your day? You know, yeah. and 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 he's he's like. He's used to it by right now. Like, yeah, I miss you too, daddy. And then he goes off about whatever he did in school. But just those little moments, man. Just yeah. those little. Imagine being having a kid at 16 that you can't tell you love him because you never have. Yeah. You know? And then we start too late when we realize that, oh, um, I should have been more with my kid. So my my thing, yeah. my point was about opening Instagram. It's not about telling someone that you need to do it's this. It's sharing, kid. yeah. Share Just watch. Your Just yeah. come, come to my page yeah. and watch. Yeah. And I might have some good tidbits for you, but it's just me and my kid having fun. And yeah. from that, you can get a lot of things. I'm, I'm not going to give you uh, advice on, on the world. I'm just going to yeah. be like, well, it's really that simple. Play yeah. with your kid. You know, yeah. if he wants to drive and, down and the road. And cut the crap. Cut, cut the, crap. the crap, men and yeah. women. Let me tell you what the crap that you got to cut, okay? This thing about like, oh, when they become a teenagers, they don't want to hug you. They don't want to. I told my son when I went to school, but he wanted to play that. I'm going to be, I'm going to be your mom for the rest of your life. And you better hug me and kiss me in front of anybody. I'm not playing that with you, okay? So my <laughs> son is 28 years old right now. And he know you can't play that with me. You're going to kiss me and you're going to hug me, okay? Mm -hmm. Exactly. They knew that. We, I don't play that. I hear that a lot from people. It's like, they're oh, teenagers. They don't like that. They don't like that. But you better don't do that with like... me. I'm your mom all the time. I can't turn it off. So you better hug me and you better kiss exactly. me all the time. Because I, I can't give it to turn you. it off. I like that. <laughs> I I'm your mom. Off. I can't turn it off. That's, that's, that's amazing. No, that's, yeah, that's, I don't. That. Mm -hmm. Be better, better you have that argument. Better yeah. your son is like, yeah, don't kiss me so much. You know? <laughs> Do it. Then, as soon as they go that, <laughs> better, it's better to have that conversation with your child that mom, stop kissing me, or then then them not having it at all. Yeah. And then them getting kissed by somebody else. Yeah. And getting their 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 their, you know, these are the things that make you mom or make yeah. you dad or make you the, the 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 person who has the back of that person. Yeah. You know? Being yeah. a parent, being, being a, a dad as in producing is easy. Yeah. Now being that father, being that everyday thing, being that everyday mother, that's the one. That's yes. the one that's important. And, and you the, know what's and, the other one? The other one that some people, just because they're listening to us, they're going to say, 
My parents was not like that with me. I wasn't raised like that. Cut the crap and the excuse. My mom didn't raise me like this. Uh, how My long, dad how didn't raise me like this. <laughs> how long ago was that again? I choose okay. what I uh, want. Boy. How yeah. I want to raise my kid. Because there was a guy in Panama. His dad used to punish him. And when he will, he will behave bad, he put him in the fridge. His, he said, uh, when he punished his son, he did the same thing. And he said, my dad used to do this to me. And look how I turned out. I was yeah, look how I turned messed out. Yeah. <laughs> messed up. Messed <laughs> up. But just because your parents did it, it doesn't mean it is right. Just you have to analyze. Right. Even my son is changing some things that he didn't like that I did. And he's changing it because as a parent, everything you do is not going to be perfect. But you have to analyze what you believe was good, what worked for you, what did they did good, what did they did bad, and what you can do sure. better. That's what if you, you can have even to remember. Do. If you can yes. even remember, it's yes. funny how, how 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 these same people remember only the bad things that their parents did. Yeah, the and rest they of the good stuff they, they don't remember nothing else. It's like, oh yeah, my yeah. dad used to be. You don't remember all the the good stuff they did, but you remember yeah. that he put you in the damn fridge. But, yeah. you know, you have to you have to get to a point where you're going to be like, I'm an adult who is responsible for yes. another minor now. Yes. So I can't blame my errors on um, what my the dad best. did to me 30 years ago mm -hmm. because immigrants all over the world are using that as driving power to become yes. very successful people. Yes. While you're using it as an excuse to why you messed up better kids. Yes, you're, you're, them up. you're using that to, to, to show your ineptitude as a parent rather yeah. than being like three quarters of the other immigrants who are actually using that as a force mm. to get better, to get faster, to get stronger, to get, you know, stop it. Like you yes. said, stop, stop yes. that, stop yeah. that. Stop. Cut the crap. Yeah. <laughs> I just love yeah. talking to you. We got to do Cut this again. This is <laughs> such a great connection. I just... Yeah, love it, and thank you God, for even, the good connection. I'm so glad I met you. It's like it's uh, yeah. it was funny that you wrote me. You remember, you wrote me on the Instagram. I, I saw like, your, I saw your, yeah. and then I wrote you I back put, right away. Yeah, I, I saw your image show up somewhere. And when I look at it, I'm like a black guy with a kid, and he's a single <laughs> dad. And yeah, I said a black guy because you know, in the world, they're trying happen. to say that that is not common. Okay. So when I saw one, I have to shout out. You know, some of you ladies might be like, mm, it is a fake or whatever, because I had heard some of those comments. And yeah, just because yeah. you're not experiencing it, it doesn't mean that it's a fake. It's real. Okay. Yeah. It's real. Just like some people don't believe in you and you have to keep believing in yourself. This is what Junior is doing. Dang. Okay. Because yeah. there's always that person waiting for you to make that mistake always to talk oh. bad about you to talk bad about me but you know what i don't live by them okay mm -hmm. my driver was always my kid no i have my husband my kids are grown now but my driver was always my kids so really keep working on yourself we are not saying that your kids have to become so important that they step on you and slap you like some mm -hmm. people allow Oh no, my kids can't no. do that to me. Okay, no. so we do are talking about putting them first, but you can't really put them first if you're not really loving who you are and respecting yourself. Because right. I have seen it also in single moms and in single dads that their kids walk all over them and they think that's love. That cannot be love because then you're going to have to go to prison and take them out. And how you're going yeah. to prove that love there, okay? Exactly. You have to correct. Or to rehab. Okay? Yes. Or to, to any of these, these yes. damn places. Yeah. It's very, very what you're making so, is a point. Very yeah. important. Very yeah. important. Yeah. So, yeah. We talk lost. about everything. Like a little bit of everything. This has been, I don't even want to stop. I know we I, passed I, an hour already. I know. Because, I mean, <laughs> yes. Oh my God, we are past an hour. <laughs> <laughs> No. I didn't even look. I said, oh, I, my, my, uh, this I, was, been I, I set an so alarm good. to try and, uh, to oh, try forget and, it. With yeah. me, the <laughs> no, you know, I you know, know, you got me. 
any time to talk about this. I think it's so important. Like it's it's really the the first piece of the puzzle when you're kind of uh, processing kids' lives. It's like the the two parents. It's really they, they, we have to put that that back together. That the yeah. my thing about co-parenting. It's like get out of the the the, the relationship mentality. Yeah. And as soon as possible, put on that co-parenting yes. uh, mentality and always look at it from someone else's perspective, really. Yeah. Like, uh, be that best, be, look at it from your best friend's perspective. If you went to your yes. best friend and you presented the problem and, oh yeah, the guy did this and I did this and I did this, how would you, if you were on the outside, what would you react? And then you would understand that a lot of it has to do with personal things that were attached to the relationship. Like, yeah. 80%, 80 to 90% of it is you trying to get them back in some funny type of way. Once yeah. you get over that and try to understand that you and that person made a kid and yeah. it's now... And even if you're not over it, you need to put it on the side. Okay? Yeah, you gotta put it on but side. Seriously. Because some some people that I know, they're still in love, but they believe that one day they're going to get back with that person. And that person already told you, I'm never going to back with you. And you yeah. still think that you're going to save yourself for them and they are coming back. You put that on the side, okay? Yeah. Have nothing well, to do with your kids. I've seen it too many times and it's hurting your children, okay? Much, it's hurting your children because your self-esteem is getting lower when that person is moving on, that person is dating many people, that person don't want nothing to do with you, that person is telling you, leave me alone. I want nothing to do with you. And you keep hanging on. And just because that person is not with you, you keep treating your kids bad or talking bad about them or what, come on. You need to get over put, put it to rest. Yeah, get over yourself. Just get like Junior yourself. said. Yeah, and seriously, you just you just have to, to move on sometimes. And I know I'm not saying it's easy. It's not easy. Nothing in life is easy. easy. And okay? definitely not kids. Definitely yes. not kids are easy. <laughs> exactly. And, and like we said at the beginning, if your priority is truly that child, yes, you will make the adjustments. And if That's it's right. not, it's very evident. It's when it's show. not, when it's ev it's very evident when it's not your priority because yes. you come up with all sorts of things like yeah. we've been talking about uh, through yes. the last hour. You yeah. know, and that's when you know who prioritizes and who can't. You know, yes. I've seen cats and dogs that that didn't get along that are getting along now because yeah. of an example like myself or of someone else. There's people, uh, and, and it's not to the impact of what I'm doing. The fact that I'm not asking them to do anything and I'm just doing mm -hmm. it's very it's, it's it's a it's a different way. It's yeah. a different type of tutorial. You know, it's it's. It's challenging for me because I it, it makes me have to be a great dad. And at the same time, maybe inspire someone else to be a great dad. You don't yeah. always see the results until someone comes back to you three years later and says, yo, I listened to you in 2021 yeah. and the effects of it are happening now. That's the benefit of it. Yeah. The other benefit of it is, is just knowing that you're doing the right thing. You know, yes. we don't always do the right thing in our whole lives. You know, we're probably 60, 60, 40 in things that we're doing. And then it's like, uh, am I going to smoke that cigarette or <laughs> am I going to do that thing? Am I, you know, there's, there's so much. Yeah. So if you're able to just start doing it and, 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 and my whole social media thing, again, um, 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 a reference is that once you start doing something over and over again, it starts to become habit. Yes. So if you're faking being that good dad, or that good dad <laughs> you know, keep doing it. If, if you really need to get on social media and post yourself being good to your kid once a day, making your yeah. kid laugh once a day, just those two things just for you. Mm -hmm. So you can go to the, and press it. And, you know, if you're having trouble with that, do, use social media that way. Because you're yes. never gonna put, you're not gonna put your best, you're gonna put your best foot forward, which might inspire someone else to put their best foot forward, which in yeah. turn might re-inspire you. Yeah. I'm telling you, my, my inspiration comes back from my baby's mother because from what we've been through, I cannot, I could never see her being the way she is right now. Yeah. And I'm amazed. And the fact that she, I'm amazed by her makes me want to be 10 times better again. Yes. So I can inspire her to be better, to inspire me to be better. So it becomes ping pong. It's like, oh my yeah. God, mother's doing, she's doing so well. She's doing so much better. It's not being patronizing. It's just like, this is a person that we used to battle with. But now 
she's making it. My my number there one. There might be some reconciliation in the future. No, no, no. <laughs> Which is why I was clear in the beginning. It's that if that was, if I saw that as an opportunity, I would handle things a little bit different. But I am very, I'm very. Um, I, I, it's not that I don't go backwards, but I'm very in the mindset that my son is priority, mm -hmm. and there's no place for a relationship from with his mom because we're not that secure. Right, we're not you might mess it up. Yeah. We might go back right back to where we you were. Might miss, the jealousy, yeah. the, the, you know, I don't, I, yeah. I don't hit. She, 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 at some point wanted me to hit her because she'd been in a relationship like that that yeah. showed that there was an emotional. Like she did something that affected someone else, you know, and I wasn't like that. And she yeah. she used to try and push me in all sorts of ways. And I'm emotionally stable. I'm very emotionally stable. I, I don't let the, my emotions get the better of me. And that takes time. It takes work. Yeah. And it takes, but that's that's something I know about myself. I, there's a lot of things I don't know about myself, but those are the certain things that you know about yourself. Yeah. And I don't confuse that. I don't yeah. confuse that because she's not as strong as I am in that department. I can yeah. stay. It's been it's been almost three years now since I've been with someone else, mm -hmm. you know. And I've, yeah. I've, I'm someone yeah. who, who I like women. I've been around women. It's just yeah. my focus so <laughs> so much on my child that if I wasn't married to the child's mom, there's no room for a woman in my life yeah. until that process is solid. Until my son is solid, you know. Yeah. And the only relationship I would have is with his mom. You know, if I have to go anywhere that I need a date for, I'll call his mom. Yeah. She's my person. She's my, we've yeah. built that relationship now that maybe I can take her out for an event and yeah. be with her and not have that type of thing. You know, I, yeah. I haven't done that yet, but that's, that's, that's what it is. I would yeah. never put someone else in front of myself. I'd be doing too much work on the back end. It'd be like yeah. well, having to explain why mommy's there and daddy's there. And then you have someone new here. No. I and I know that school. what he's talking about sounds difficult for you to even think about it. Yeah. But for him, at one point, it was even difficult to think about it, too. OK, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I can tell you that much, because when I got to introduce my ex-husband to my husband now, when I make them talk and whatever, I told my husband, my husband, I said, tell him thank you, because um, you know, because I am who I am because of him. Okay. And I told my ex-husband, tell him thank you because he is going to be taking care of your kid too. Yeah. <laughs> so I had them both tell each other thank you. Because and that's tough. And that's I am, tough. I am like this because a lot of stuff that I did wrong with him. And now I learn, hey, you know, mm -hmm. I am more loving now. I am more caring. I'm when it comes to men, as a mom, I was already that. But yes. as a woman, I'm like, I, I'm mm -hmm. a tough woman. I don't need to be emotional. I don't need to be. I was like that. I was like, you know, I don't need. <laughs> that's girly stuff. Because I always was stuff. a tomboy. I was girly, you know. That's how I was, right? So my ex-husband, all he wanted was somebody that was giving him more attention. And for me, I was like, that's weak, right? But with yeah. this one. I don't care. I, 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 everything that I didn't do, I do it with this one, but it was the right time. Okay. Right. So stop yeah. wallowing, in, wallowing in self pity because yeah. of whatever happened, just move on and learn. That's what we are here for. Every thing that we did is for us to learn from our mistake and then move Absolutely. forward. It's not move about forward. just crying. Oh, I wish I had it back. Oh, I wish. Let it go. Yeah. And there's Let plenty of wonderful people out there. Yes, there's there is plenty of there wonderful people out there, and, and, yeah. and you can make the you make the same effort. You know, yes. If you really yeah. want to to to, it's like when you want to ride a bike, you practice how to ride a bike. You know, yes. if you want to meet people, do what it takes. Find out what it's about. You know, we don't yes. we don't learn that stuff. We we kind of do it on the fly. You yes. know, I, and if you can try and find the experience, since for people who who have, like I said, if you're single today. You're over like everybody else. So every yeah. relationship prior hasn't worked, and the common denominator is you. So yes. once you start to understand those, and your relationships are working, common de denominator is you. Start yeah. working on how not to be that common denominator. 
You know, mm -hmm. what have I done? What can I do to be better? Where am I be Maybe I'm choosing people from the wrong. Do work on yourself. Yes. You know, as much, as much effort as you put into watching MTV mm -hmm. videos or watching yeah. novelas, TV novelas on TV, <clears throat> take that 20 minutes and work on yourself. Yeah. Know that, know yourself. Self-mastery, you know, it sounds too psychologically uh, stuff, but self-mastery, self-understanding, emotional stability, these are the things that will carry you. They'll carry you even further than any any law degree or anything else will. You know what I yes. mean? These are yeah. the things that make you not make those stupid decisions when you're pissed off. Yes. Once you have that down pack, the rest is cake. The mm -hmm. rest is cake. Yeah. It's just that feeling of, oh, uh, they're going to, someone is getting over on me. Get over yeah. that. You know, you get, yeah. get, just work on yourself to the, the smart, beautiful, intelligent person that you are, the mother to that child that you, that, that, that you just had. And now mm -hmm. you have even more reason to get yourself better because you have someone counting on you now. Yeah, you know, exactly. And rather than look at it as I have to go against the guy who I had or the or the lady who I had the um, the baby with, I have to be the best person. So this person grows yes. up better than me and doesn't have to go through. You don't have to give them what you you didn't have because they don't have the same life as you. If you mm -hmm. if you're giving them everything you have emotionally, uh, uh, mentally and all that, all the rest of that shit doesn't matter. All that those exactly. little toys. Yeah. And my, yeah. I haven't. I, I have one toy for my son here. One is he likes the little cars. The rest we've built. Yeah. That's part of the process. We've built, you know, like you saw us, our town. We mm -hmm. we could we could go to a racetrack or to a to a thing, but as he drives, I draw. You know, that puts us that puts us in another dynamic. You know, yeah. he's telling me he's able to be a foreman and be like, I want a road that way. And but he's also able to tell his dad what to do. That's immense for him. That's immense yeah. that I value his opinion enough. So while working on yourself, you're going to discover all these little things that are going to be make your life that much easier and that much yeah. happier with the person that you're with rather than trying to make the other person miserable. And yeah. making the other person miserable is going to make yourself miserable. And it's not, in, in the end, it's not going to help your child. Yeah. And you don't want that. You really yeah. don't want that. You know, yeah. it's not about being friends, but it's about, the minimal exposure you have to each other, be on your social media best behavior. Yes. All the time. Whether it be compliments, whether you have to lie. Lie if you want. Walk in the house and be like, baby, you got the best looking dress in the world. Even though, like you said, even though it's an ugly ass dress and you <laughs> hated it when she had it when you were together. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's, that, that's the turning around point. You know. And yeah. once you get into that, and you get used to that. And then you start seeing your kid has different reactions. You know, my kid now gets, uh, he gets all antsy when we're together. Like he, he's got so much, he, he's so happy that he, he just gets mad. Like he's almost like, <laughs> I'm going to go tell mommy. Oh, I'm going to go tell mommy. <laughs> he, has a, he has an embarrassment of choices. And the yeah. closer that we get as a unit. That's uh, beautiful. And when I say the unit is that when for school, for, for, for sports, for whatever he's doing, he has to turn around and see two people. When he sees one, it's messed up, you know? And he doesn't have to see two people kissing or holding hands. Yes. He just has to see those two people. Those Working two for him, people. yeah. And who, it's so important for him to see that those people, and once he gets older and he understands that mommy and daddy aren't together for various reasons, but they made it work for me. Yeah. Every time that we went. So you guys weren't together when we were going, you guys weren't together. Oh my God. Then it puts more value on that. You know, yeah. more you guys made it work for me. And that's so important. So, yeah. so, 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 so important. Yeah. You know? and, 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 I like and, that. And I can't say that enough. I can't say that enough. Yeah. And and the, the scorned, the scorned um a single mother, um <coughs> it's 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 a lot more. I think I, I find it a lot as a single dad. I, I really, I really I re-identify with the single mother in the sense that they have so much to deal with, so much to deal with. And it's such a delicate period. And it's, it's thrust on them so much because guys like me in the past have not been there, have not yeah. been part of that nucleus or being in a position where they're saying, I want to make this situation work. It's never that. It's always the woman who seems to want to make it work or, or, or come see your dad, or you should spend more time with your son. It happens in the other sense, but we have to make sure that 
regardless of what side it's on, the, the result is the same. The, 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 the co-parenting hat comes on. You yes. know, the putting someone ahead of myself. That, 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 that changed the day the kid was born. But actually consciously in your, in your head saying that this is me. This is future me. This is future him too. Mm-hmm. Or future her too. Let's find a way for this child not to be in the situation that we are now. Yeah. Because regardless of what we've said, what we've done is put us in the situation that we're a part. Yeah. So let's rebuild the blocks better. Yeah. You know, for yeah. him. So that yeah. even despite the fact that we're a broken couple, he comes out of this having two parents who love him. In and spite of the, op- have the open relationship. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so that, that, that. <laughs> I keep forgetting those terms are a little different abroad. You know, <laughs> it's a whole lot of different yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know. The so, first time I heard that, I was not <laughs> sure what they were talking about. I was at work and somebody mentioned that. And they they said, I'm like, oh, no. I didn't know the term. And it was the wife told me and then the man told me separately. I'm like, I just heard this lady just told me this. Yeah. It's like, yeah, that's my wife. That, that's that's my wife. sad. That they want us to, they want me to come into their open relationship. Oh, and I'm God. like, oh, sure, sure, sure. I was not sure what they were talking about. <laughs> and I was telling somebody and I said, oh, that is so cool. I was talking to one and I was talking to the other and they invited me into this open relationship. I thought it was like a community or something that, yeah, that they're yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. And then they was like, and what did you say? I'm like, sure, I would like to find out more about this open relationship. <laughs> they was like, no, you don't. And I was like, what do you, why, what do you mean? I am open to like trying everything once, right? What? They was like, what? And then when they explain it to me, I'm like, what? That's what it is? <laughs> I was so embarrassed because I'm like, I'm open to everything once. <laughs> I'm open, I'm open, I'm open. <laughs> Meanwhile, funny. people are looking at me. Like, I am just like, they were laughing because they knew that I knew, but they, were, they just loved to mess with me. And they were just <laughs> laughing when they explained it. I just was so tormented by it. So tormented by I the thought of it. <laughs> I can imagine. I can but when imagine. you mention it, I'm like, I know he don't mean it that way, but I'm gonna, <laughs> go, I'm gonna drag on this one. <laughs> but yeah, like we said, keep the sex uncomplicated. Yeah. Keep it out. Keep it out. Yeah. For the beginning, regardless of what. So tell the like, people yeah. about your channel again. Tell them where to fo- follow you. My, um, it's Bleaks and Me. B L I X and Me. Um, like I said, it's it's nothing. It's nothing special. He just started. He just started. I just and, started. Um, yeah. But I'm someone who likes to talk about things like this. This ma- Life matters. You know, yeah. from what we just had as a conversation, I took all sorts of inspiration for this. That's going to make me a better dad yeah. all over again. Because yeah. I've heard your perspective. I've, I've, I've put what I think and what you think and what is in another, in another box that makes me create something else. So yeah. for me, it, it, it's about that. It's about, I tell dad, dads all the time, Hit me up anytime. Uh, hit me a message. It, it might take one word from me that could help you for that moment. That that moment of empathy, just listening yeah. to you, just yeah. whatever that might be, you know. Yeah. And I can be that for 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 uh, for some single dads or for single moms also. It's just about being a situation where the other person might be unbearable and looking at common ways that you can change that. You know, put yourself yeah. in a position to be less hurt than you know and, yeah. and if this person's hurting you too much maybe you are more emotionally attached than you should be because yeah. if you're not emotionally attached people can't hurt you like that yeah you know, you, exactly you you, there's something else behind and hearing it from a stranger sometimes it's good sometimes it's yeah. good i went to therapy twice in my life um two sessions but two of the most unbelievable moments of my life i just didn't value me paying for it after I went to that, to that <laughs> session, yeah. but you know, it's, it's, it's something that really helped me a lot. And, and yeah. I realized also that I had people around me that I could use as therapy uh, yeah. that would bring me closer. People that I can call and say, can you just listen? Yeah. Yeah. And when people call me, it's like, do you want my advice or do you want me to just listen? 
And that's yeah. very important too, because we're already, hey, I'm, I'm ready to give my advice. But one yeah. thing that got me into trouble is that don't give your advice too quickly. Some yeah. people might just want you to listen. Just listen, yeah. You know, or my, and if they want your advice, they should tell you. That's yeah. that's how, I, and you won't you won't yeah. get into trouble. And sometimes it's just that it's just someone someone different who's not biased, who's not who's not attached yeah. to your life. Can that's why I make videos. <laughs> These videos exactly. are my therapy. Constant exactly. Therapy. Yeah. Exactly. Because going yeah. back and watching a lot of the stuff that I watch on your channel makes me go, hmm. I'm like, wow. <laughs> things and and, and 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 I'm pretty I'm pretty in tune with what I gotta do. Mm -hmm. So if someone like me, I'm a, I'm a heavy researcher, man. I read, yeah. I, I read over 60 books on, on kids. I read, I read 30 the first year that my kid was born. Like I, oh, I, I, I want to know, I want to know what's happening in Finland. I want to know yes, what's happening. I read Sweden. a lot of books, a lot, yeah. because I said, I'm going to be the best mom. Best. I even start baking cookies and I started sewing that, clothes. And that's, the spirit. <laughs> that's the spirit. That's already I when did. you want to say already when you say that you're already in the game when you're I saying did. that i, I try everything i'm like mom. yeah it's, it's I, amazing. I just wanted to be yeah i just, just want i try everything and and you don't need to know everything but you have mm -hmm. to point them into the, the right direction because i used to have reader rabbits all kind of stuff for my kids because English is not my first language. So English wasn't my thing. So when mm -hmm. my kids needed something, I had all the reader rabbits and my son had a question on like sit on the computer and I make sure that he played because of a lot of these things was about game. It's not about just playing, you know, all these stupid games that you guys be buying your kids that are useful mm -hmm. for nothing. All yeah. they're doing is shooting up people, whatever. The reader rabbit game, he will kind of like go into like cities and everything was some kind of learning, mathematics, Absolutely. science, everything Absolutely. was meaningful. So yeah. my son was always, I remember he, I put a Mavis Bacon to learn typing while there was had a game. He's like, oh, he's typing. He don't even know he's <laughs> learning typing, right? Yeah. So and my in my house, I never kept a TV. Yeah, I'm black and I didn't have a TV at home yeah, yeah. purposely because I grew up with a TV and I decided that was not useful for me. Thank you, my first boyfriend, Mariano. He used to tell me that. Um, <laughs> and um but I decided I'm not going to have TV in my in my house. So I made a sacrifice and I had a laptop in my house. And when we had time, they will go on the computer and do stuff. Then after they did stuff, they could watch something compensate like Netflix or whatever. But right. it wasn't about all these programming from TV. No, if they want yeah. to, they can watch TV. But TV is not going to help your kids. Okay. No. Unless it's something it, meaningful. Okay. A, a lot of programming. Yeah. 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 You, you so I, I had to be so strict. People always say, were you in the military? <laughs> 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 no, no, I never been. Are you sure? You, you always they ask me if I was in the military because I'm, I'm very strict, but I had like set of rules and all that kind of stuff that I, I set my standard of living. I decided my limitation. I decided what would happen and what couldn't happen. And then I made modifications along the way. There was something Absolutely. that worked out, some things that then, but you gotta set some standards. You can't go by everybody's doing this and this is what yeah, I'm following yeah, yeah, and all yeah. that crap. Absolutely. No, set Absolutely. your standards. Absolutely. Yeah, That's you gotta set it. it yeah, and the people are like, Oh, no, because you're strong. I was not always this strong. No. Strong people usually I was not strong. always this strong. No. Yeah. You know, I, I always had a mouth. <laughs> but it doesn't mean I was strong. Because right after I had the mouth, I would go and cry. People don't like me. Maybe God, maybe help me to be different. I want to be more sensitive woman. I want to be more loving and kind and whatever. And I want to be like other women. No! not yeah. supposed to be like other women okay yeah. you're not supposed to be like every woman and every man who there you're supposed exactly. to be you you okay you're the best you, you for your kids and that's yeah. what that's what it is and that's why i love junior i love junior and you were there uh, we, don't, you we too, just sir. met we just met on instagram just like he told you before i contacted him on instagram 
And I love this man so much. And yes, I have a husband. I love him. This is like my little brother, my, my brother. I mean, I am so connected with him. And the reality is, is that I was never really connected to black guys. Like, really, like, okay. like, like yeah, connected this yeah. kind of conversation. That's a conversation for another time. But I never, because I'm pretty stubborn. Like, that's the reality. I'm pretty stubborn, right? Um, but he have such a beautiful soul. And whatever he was, he's not. Because he worked at it. And that's how we get along. Because whatever I was, I'm not. I choose who I am now. I choose that. So you can choose who you want to be. Stop listening to people telling you, oh, you you are like this. You remember the last time you did this? And when mm-hmm. somebody remind you of how ugly you were, you say, screw them. There was a song I just recently, recently listened to on Instagram. <laughs> Which was that? F you, F you. Oh, F you, F you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I have to look at that. When those people come with that idea to you, you just have to sing that song in your head. F you, F you. F you. It's true. It's so true. It's true. Because it's true. if you had a bad life before, you made a lot of mistakes, you were horrible people are going to remind you always how horrible you were, but you need to decide who you want to be because people that know me from before, this is not who I was. I was not the motivator. I was not the, the inspiring person. This I was not like this. I was asleep. I didn't sleep around. I was very insecure. I modeled. I did all that kind of stuff. I did that. Even my kids know that. So you know what? They look up to me because I look up to me. Okay, I work on me. You look up to you. I accept me, and they accepted me because I accept me. When I speak about me, I don't speak about with shame. I'm proud of who I (laughs) am. Proud, yeah. You know, I'm not asking anybody for the approval. I'm not asking you for your approval. Junior is not asking you for your approval. We're just sharing this so that you can identify what you want and stop asking people for approval. Because if you do that, if you keep asking people for approval and waiting for someone to tell you it's okay, you're screwing up your kids already. Yep. Okay? So you need to up. fix that. You need to fix it. Absolutely. Absolutely. You need to fix it. Okay? Absolutely. But anyway, we are going to cut because we can talk yes. for hours. We can we're talk going, for can a go long with time. Days. We're almost like oh, two yeah. hours of this, but this is really good. <laughs> I'm, no, yes, yes, yes. I'm putting this whole thing and um, I am going to be sending you a, a, a I'm going to post a copy of it on Instagram, okay. but I'm going to send you a different section so you can put it on Instagram too. Um, it's supposed okay. to be less than 60 minutes, the one that you okay. put on the post. And I'm going okay. to send you, it's going to look different. Mine is going to be like my consistency, but yours is, um, is going to be um, different for you, um, okay. you know. Um, and mostly like the part where you're talking, I'm going to look for the part where you're talking about the single dads and then mine is going to be more so that it, it can be. So if okay. you are a single dad and you, you want to follow somebody that is totally focused on their kid and you feel that you were all alone or there was just a few of you, he is building a community of more of you. Okay, so please follow junior on his, on his channel and anybody that i have i have a lot of dads coming up i have some interviews set up that is going to be more dads coming more dads and i'm not talking about just black guys and hispanic i have white guys the latinos that are single dads okay exactly. and more you need to send, you need to send them all to me Make sure i will be i will be so that every every time you have a, a, a single dad on just yeah let me know that day yeah. so I look for yeah. the next And anything yeah. about single moms that you have, let me know so Absolutely. that they can connect. But we need to keep doing that because we yeah. are going to be, we, we need to be that bridge to come and bring them together. So from time Absolutely. to time, let's do this um, like, a, like one of this, but where we yeah. have men and women together having that conversation. Absolutely. Let's try to do that. Um, once you, once I'm, you have more I'm people. That would be so that would be, cool. That would be very interesting. That have, would be really cool. And I just black. I'm like, mixture. Because we just, it's, it's, this is not about just a black thing, a white thing, whatever. Mm-hmm. Just a mixture of people 
that or uh, in this experience that will be so Absolutely. cool i'm so excited I think there's about a lot that. there's a lot of variety out there in yeah. our in our uh in our various nations so there's there's a yeah. good mix of different types of people yeah no, thank so, you so much. Um, I really appreciate thank you. Thank you so yeah. much for having me. I mean, yeah. like, like an hour and a half went by so fast I didn't even know. <laughs> we started. No, it's not an hour and a half. It's almost two hours now. <laughs> almost two uh, hours. Yeah, yeah, almost so. two hours. But anyway, <laughs> if you would like to interview with me, please send me an, an email to info at singlemom.today. Info, I have so many emails. Info at singlemom. <laughs> that today I will put Junior's information from his Instagram at the bottom of this video. So all you have to do, if you didn't understand the way that we were saying it, look in the description box in the bottom and click and it will take you to his page. If you are a single dad, I want you to understand you got this. It's not about being perfect. It's about persevering. If you are a single mom, remember you got this. It's not about proving to the world. It's about loving yourself and loving your children and giving the best that you can every day. Because like I said, single mom that today, because today is all that you have. Okay. So that's what I wanted to leave with you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Junior, again. Thank you so and much, Sandra. You, I wish you. you all the best. I, I love what you do. And you're stuck with me forever now. <laughs>